Okay, stepped out for a second there. Hope I wasn't gone too long. I hope you didn't miss anything up while I was away. But, um, yeah, I, know I might have hinted at what was happening with my video schedule before, but, uh, I mean, well, the bad news is the reason I, um, dropped out suddenly, even though I, if I remember correctly, I was trying to make a stab at finishing my reviewing all the episodes very loosely, like, at, or, um, season nine specifically, but, uh, yeah. First my laptop crashed, then the pandemic hit, and then one or two other big changes happened in my life. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty big derailment, but I have recovered everything that was lost, at least. I do have a little backlog of material that I could release, um, but like I was saying before, there's the other thing that was going on with me. I kind of might have sort of hinted at that, uh, yeah, I was definitely setting the wrong pace for myself there for a while, definitely getting a lot of things wrong, and including just how, like, I was treating myself doing this. I mean, I was, like, you, you might have noticed as my reviews got drier, I was really just holding my nose to the grindstone and not really for much purpose, in my opinion. I think that I could have maybe changed my game plan instead of just trying to keep up with the episodes, maybe talked about things I was more specifically interested in, where, yeah, my little pony franchise or even other stuff was concerned. So, okay, long, long story hit there. Um, yeah, in a nutshell, when I started out, I was yeah, editing my videos late into the night until I fell asleep at my keyboard, and then uh, by the end of my consistent video output, I would have like a vitriolically negative reaction to whenever I opened my editing software. It got to the point where I just couldn't do it anymore, so we'll see how that changes going forward, and I hope to get back to this a little bit. I'd at least like to finish what I started. I do really enjoy reviews and stuff like that, exchanging thoughts on material like this, so hope I can do that. Hope I can maybe even be a more appealing presence than I was before. But, okay, as you might have noticed from the title of this video, I'm somebody got me back in the game a little bit here. I did a crossover, and not just a cameo, not just a few lines. Like, I, we did about equal split on this thing. It's with my friend Wolfgang. Not Zaldin, Wolfgang. That hack ripped, that hack ripped off my shtick, finding the love of his life and marrying her in the brony fandom. So, there will definitely not be a link in the description where you can follow and go congratulate them. But, uh, no, I mean, uh, Strawberry Wolfgang. She's a new up-and-comer in the rift, and, uh, yeah, we, um, started working together a little bit, and she asked if I'd want to do a crossover with her, and, uh, she's the kind of person who, uh, I mean, she's, yeah, pretty new to this, you know, raw up-and-coming, but she's the kind of person you're glad doesn't sen doesn't self-censor very much, I'll say. The kind of person who just, like, yeah, hard on her sleeve, lets it all out, yeah, raw, uh, crude even sometimes, but it's all just so, like, fun-loving and good-natured and enthusiastic, and it's really, really infectious, so, um, you know what, I was all for it. So it's for the main attraction, which I know I already reviewed, but I found a couple new things to say about it, and more than a couple even. I think I've, uh, kind of changed in the years since it's come out, and I've, yeah, gained a little bit more wisdom, I think, in about, um, the morals it's trying to teach for one, and just about, uh, yeah, outlooks on life. We were in a pretty edgelord mindset in 2016, I think it was, 2015, something like that. So, um, yeah, I think I, I like what I have to say now a little bit more. But uh, as far as what we brought to the table here, this was absolutely 50-50. We both wrote lines, we both edited it. Like, um, it actually wound up kind of a blend of our two editing styles, because, yeah, she's just really off the wall and fun and chaotic, and she... Uh, did the first draft of the edit and gave it to me, and, uh, I, yeah, I saw the fun. I also saw a lot of the, um, yeah, raw and polished aspects, and I'm like, ooh, I really think I could improve a few things here. Is it okay if I just take the reins for a minute, and if you don't like what I did, you, uh, can tell me to change it back or just use the first one? And, yeah, she gave me full reign, so, um, yeah, I just, um, polished up everything I thought could, like, be more succinct, could, uh, yeah make the impact a little stronger. I added music, um, that, and including a song she wrote herself, the instrumentals to that, so, yeah, that was kind of a fun touch realizing that it could use that, and also, yeah, I do dance in this one, and, uh, yeah, I had a whole session just taking my camera down to the most open space in the house I could find, and just, yeah, doing 
ton of dance takes, could do more than one track. I might add, this is a little bit of a dance battle here, and afterwards my legs were so darn sore I can kind of see why some of you were impressed watching me do all this in my 20s, but uh, hey, now I still got juice in the tank here. I think I've gotten a lot better at dancing too, despite the fact that I uh, might have had a little more chutzpah in my muscles in the old day, or at least a little more recuperative power, so yeah, we had a lot of fun with this. Uh, it's actually doing pretty well, and uh, you know, I think that I... Hope you like it anyway, so links in the description. I uh, hope you like it. I hope you'll subscribe to her channel. And, uh, well, here's to what's to come.